To improve our cellular connection, we have tried a lot of different antenna options over the past few months to try to get the best internet we can in the van. But this one is just a little bit different. Keep watching to see how Q Wireless have taken a different approach to their antenna design and how it performs. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. Following our Teltonica RUT 955 video review, we were contacted by the team at Q Wireless to ask if we would try out their Q Spot antenna. But it's not just an antenna. In full disclosure, Q Wireless have lent us the Q Spot to try for free. We've not been paid to produce this video and Q Wireless don't have any editorial control over what we say. Everything we talk about in this video is from our experience of the product and, as always, I'm very keen that we give a genuine view of what we think about it. So let's take a look. First impressions of the Q Spot is that it's quite large for an antenna. Here you can see it in comparison to a pointing Mimo 3. But there is a reason that it's bigger. It's not just an antenna. The Q-Spot is designed to not just be an antenna, but also a housing for your mobile router. You may ask, why would you do that? Well, let's look at the logic. In general, antennas pick up a radio signal and then this flows down a cable to the receiving device. The objective of having a better antenna is to capture or transmit as much of that signal as possible to or from the device. The better the antenna, the better the signal at the device. But the signal the antenna receives has to be transmitted down a cable. This is an imperfect medium and causes some of the signal to be lost. This varies on the type of cable, the length of cable and the frequency of the signal. More expensive antennas tend to use higher quality cable which have less loss. Q Wireless have clearly thought about this and by giving a way to safely locate the router very close or in this case inside a high quality antenna they've practically got rid of that cable loss entirely and therefore make the best chance of getting the best signal at the modem. Q Wireless make a number of antenna enclosure options for the range of Teltonica routers. The Q Spot is their omnidirectional model and we have the version for our Teltonica RUT955. The router is held securely using a spring lock mounting which holds it safe. So it's just a case of connecting up the various antenna connections, in our case a 2x2 LTE, 2x2 Wi-Fi and GPS antenna, and then mounting it into the unit. Out of the box it comes with a waterproof ethernet connector to allow a power over ethernet connection. But we don't use a wired connection so I simply removed this and connected the normal 12 volt power lead to the router. QSpot can supply a suitable waterproof connector or waterproof gland to make this even easier. The mounting options for the Q-Spot are a little limited, with only a vertical pole mount out of the box. But I would say with a bit of ingenuity, it could be mounted in various different ways to a roof rack or a surface. Or, because it's just as simple as plugging it into its power, you could just pop it out on the roof when you want to use it. Which is what we did. Q-Wireless do have a prototype magnetic mount, which would be a great addition and make it even easier to use. When it comes to testing the performance, we're going to use the Pointing Mimo 3 as our benchmark, as it performed really well in our previous tests. You can check out the full review of this antenna by clicking the link on the screen or in the video notes. We tested both antennas in three locations on 3G and 4G connections, and in location 1 we tested it across a number of different LTE frequencies. As you can see from the results, they are close, but in almost all locations and bands, the Q-Spot does deliver a stronger signal to the modem. On average, the signal strength is 3 dBm higher than the MIMO 3. To test the omnidirectional capabilities of the Q-Spot, we rotated the unit through 360 degrees in 45 degree increments, checking the signal strength at each point. As you can see, there was no variance in the signal strength, which is exactly what we would have hoped to see. 
as usual we also did a speed test as always i need to caveat this as there are a number of things that can impact the speed performance such as network or tower load and interference we did our best to keep everything as consistent as possible making the measurements at the same time of day on the same cell tower and using the same speed test server we didn't see a huge difference in download speed but the Q spot did appear to give a marginally better download speed and on 4G a spectacular upload speed. Overall performance wise we can say that the Q spot tops out our tests for signal strength and speed. A final point to call out is that the Q spot lends itself to easily being pole mounted. Unlike with other antennas this would usually mean longer antenna cables and therefore even greater signal loss in the cable. With the Q spot it's just a long power cable so no loss in the signal strength. The extra height of a pole mic could well make a difference particularly when in rural areas with weak or no signal at a lower level. When it comes to pricing, these vary depending on the model of router they are for, and these prices are current as of June 2021, and are just for the Q spot. The router is not included. You can find purchase links in the video notes. Considering the quality and performance of the antenna and the innovative design, I would say the Q spot is reasonably priced. So what do we think overall? Well, it's an alternative approach to other antennas and it really is great to see something different. And it's an innovative way to maximize the available cellular signal without adding cable loss. It clearly makes a difference to the overall signal strength, making this the best performing antenna we have used. The fact that once paired with a Teltonica router, it's an all-in-one unit that only needs a power cable makes it flexible, easy to use and easy to move. It would be ideal if you just want to pop it out either on the roof or a pole when you get to a location and surf away. So if you travel to areas with weak signals or just want to get the best possible signal you can, it would be a great option. However, the minimal out of the box mounting options, the fact it has to be used with a Teltonica router and the physical size may put some people off. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.